How you doing everybody? It's Drakbolt and I'm giving you another update on the Dunecraft server. This time we're going to take a look at uh, different players stuff. His name is Gus Stuff actually and he has been uh, hard at work for a little bit now. I'm not entirely sure what he's up to. Um, haven't conversed a whole lot with him but he's definitely been busy. He's got some kind of very large room, a very large structure coming up over there with a little tower right next to it. Even standing right next to it and looking at it from above I don't know exactly if it's supposed to be like anything, uh, you know, Dune 2 style, but um, but anyway, it's, it's pretty cool, and it's always good to see somebody get some stuff together. Um, he's got another little tower of some kind over there, not sure what that's going to be. This may be something on a large scale that I just don't really recognize yet, but we'll see. That structure out there is a thumper, which is pretty cool, so I, I thought that was, uh, that was pretty neat. Originally, he had... Um, like some doors in there set on a timer delay so that the doors just kept like opening and closing giving a, a sort of a sense of motion to the thumper I don't know if that's still in there or not um, actually there he is down there working he's uh, completing the roof on that structure whatever it is and for some reason he wants to use dirt for everything so we shall see what that's gonna be and this is um, this is a little keep area that he's creating um, it's kinda funny to see a door right here but cute and there's the uh, customary uh, pond drop area there and um, it's got a pretty nice oh it looks like another drop I haven't looked through this so oh, okay just ladder all the way down looks like possibly a water ladder uh, or maybe plans for one I don't know we'll see so that's going on with gust stuff and I'm gonna take a walk over to um, to the other side here back towards the sand castle which is kind of the center hub of the whole world and then I'm going to go a little bit uh, to the east because I want to show you the updates that uh, that Excalibration has been putting together uh, and this is kind of neat you can see Gus stuff actually has uh, a couple of signs that he put up made out of uh, redstone torches uh, Gus and then Dune right there and, and they look much better at night but they're they're very cool regardless so I'm going to start walking over this way, and we are hopefully at some point going to see these. Uh, reset my view here. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm hitting the right one. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just trying to get everything to kind of respawn back in. I think one of the reasons why the server is slowing down a little bit in the updates that it gives and everything is because we're going so far down into the ground too. Every single one of us has um, some really deep mines that that, uh, that are pretty extensive. So I and, and plus the skyway going straight up, I think we just have a lot more going on here than the average server uh, in terms of of, of actual uh, you know data and information to store about about what's being modified and built and everything. So I don't know. Um, I definitely have a fast enough computer and a fast enough internet connection. So I think it's probably just because we've got so much stuff going on. So here's what Xcal has been up to. Uh, you can see the outpost that he built before and the, and the war will come into view soon. And here's the refinery, which is very cool. This is really neat. Uh, I'm going to give you an overhead view of it first and then we'll go down and take a look at it. And then not long after that, he built another structure over there, which... Um, because of the of the general structure, I figured the only thing it could be was a wind trap, and that turns out to be correct, but it's much more visible from the ground. Once you get down there, you'll really be able to see what it is. But even so, I mean, these structures look great. I mean, just taking a look at them, it's, it's very cool. Um, it would be cool, I suppose, if you used, like, iron blocks or something to make the top structure of the wind traps or, or something to make them a little more recognizable, but it's, you know... That would take an awful long time to do, and he's got plenty of time to do that later anyway, so that's no problem. But the refinery I love, we've got to take a closer look at that. Just a moment. Heading down. The shortcut. Alright, now this is cool. This is very cool. So, the refinery, it's, it's just really neat because... Because the water all looks like quicksand now, um, he he took it upon himself to make this gigantic, uh, you know, a plumbing system more or less that really does resemble a refining operation. This is what he calls the processor core. Um, 
you know, I'll let, I'll let you come into the game and ask him exactly how how this is all supposed to re represent spice refining, but it's still very cool. You get all these all these systems where spice is being moved and and shuttled from one one place to the next. Uh, refined spice goes out that way, and and it, and this is just the raw intake, I guess. You know, that's another line out. Um, yeah, here's the line in <laughs> the raw spice. So that's all coming from over here, which is. Uh, Here's the intake bay, all right. So that's where it's getting dumped in from the harvester, harvester reservoir down here. Um, raw spice goes that way. So over here, and here's a little, little barrack area. So, whoa, okay. I'm just uh, setting an arrow over there. Up in that box. Ah, spazzing. Okay. Okay. Here's a, an example of a spice silo. It's very cool. There we go. So we got the spice flowing down, filling everything up. Being sent from one side to the next. It's just really cool. It's a really cool idea. So, always good to see people having a good time in here. Doing some new stuff. And processing where we were. I'm going to have to go through there to get out at any rate. And I believe he is working on a harvester, which we uh, we came close to walking over before. But I'll let him finish that first because it looks like uh, it's just made out of like dirt and stone at the moment, and I don't think that's going to be his final material. So let's see, let's see what he's been doing over here. So here's the, the generator gamma. I assume they're like alpha, beta, gamma, something like that. Um, generator core. <laughs> this is pretty neat. I haven't been down here yet. So let's, oh, that's cool. All right, very good. There is the core. Very nice. So I'm gonna go out and take a look at it from the outside because that's that to me is, is definitely what looks the coolest. All right, let's see if I can avoid getting this place blown up by creepers or anything like that. Get a little bit far out here. Haha, <laughs> there's the wind trap. Now that's, that's just awesome. That is very cool. I like that. And I like the little, uh, the little glass areas here, which, uh, you know, sort of like power conduits, which is what they're supposed to be in the, in the graphics of Dune 2. Uh, oh, and he's got, oh, that's, okay, that is very cool. I did not notice that he actually had redstone dust down there. Very good. Very nice touch. Very good. Very impressed with that. And blocks of iron on the end. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> that is great. Very cool. God, before you know it, we'll actually have enough buildings out here to, you know, I don't know, make, we'll actually be able to emulate some of the some of the real things that go on. Like, we'll be able to make a wind trap somehow power other facilities or something goofy like that. That'd be pretty wild. So, um, I'm going to stop the update there and uh, come back later and see what um, Gus Stuff is doing. Might as well take this uh, cart. Uh... People keep leaving cards lying around. I wish they'd put them back in the... Oh, I'm kind of full at the moment. Uh, let's, dang it, I don't want to drop the egg. I like the egg. So, after a while, um, we'll see what uh, Gustav is going to come up with and uh, see what other players are interested in building as they come in here. I hope more of you decide to join up at the forums and request to be whitelisted for the server. I would definitely love to have more players, but of course, uh, for everyone's uh, sake and of, of enjoyment and and uh, accountability, I'm just making sure that I'm keeping a whitelist. So please do just register and request to have access, and I'll be happy to bring you in. Uh, so again, this is Dragbolt. I hope you enjoy this update and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. I'm going to take a quick look around in the nighttime sky. Very nice. Everything looks good. Take a quick jaunt back in this direction just to take a look at the uh, the uh, the harvester. Well, you know, I'll just end it here. So, anyway, this is Drackbolt, and uh, more updates will be coming. So, thanks for watching, and talk to you soon. Bye.